Malnourished and thin, but tonight recovering. Police investigate how long a six-year-old little boy was left in a Johnson County attic. Beth Vaughn is live in DeSoto with the latest. What can you tell us, Beth? Yeah, Elizabeth, how long is a big question, and also why anyone would leave a six-year-old boy alone in an attic is another. The boy was found in this home behind me, right above the house in the attic space. His mother now sits in jail. Filthy and unfit for children. That's how property manager Tom Roberson describes the inside of this home. And there's so much feces everywhere. The crib was full of feces. Tuesday, police searched this home twice for a six-year-old boy after his grandmother called concerned for his welfare. Movement upstairs led officers into the attic, a small crawl space with no ladder, saying the boy didn't get up there by himself. Roberson, in charge of the clean up still in shock from what happened. I didn't get to see the kid myself, but they said he had feces on his face. He is really down to 20 pounds. He's seven years old. He was like 20 pounds is all he was. The boy's mother, 26-year-old Rachel Perez, arrested Tuesday on unrelated driving charges. Today, arraigned in Johnson County Court on charges of aggravated endangerment and the abuse of a child. She could face a maximum sentence of just over 12 years in prison. We feel very strongly that children uh, are those uh, many times who can't speak for themselves or protect themselves. And the six-year-old boy recovering at Children's Mercy as officers investigate and try to sort through their own feelings. It's tough on everybody. I mean, nobody wants to see a child hurt or in need. Widespread concern for a child saved from a sweltering attic and given a second chance at life. Well, the woman who lives on the other side of the duplex with her own son said she never heard anyone up in the attic and was actually very shocked to hear that anyone was living up there at all. Well, another neighbor told me she hadn't seen the little boy in two to three months and that actually Rachel Perez had been telling her the little boy was living with his father over in Missouri. For now, we're live in DeSoto. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.